What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, age what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? Alex Mai, the mother trucker, went and checked out Super Eagle. Before we get started, right? Before we get started, I wanna just say that I've been messing with this guy for a long, long time. I don't have nothing against him. But me and Alex, you know, we have two different styles of doing things over here. You know, Alex, my, you know, the mother trucker, the the cookie cutter, the the the, you know, the the happy go lucky guy. That's what he is. He want to bring awareness to the trucking industry. And I give him that. I appreciate that. But brother, man, this right here, I don't know, man. We about to get into it. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. What we're doing today is we're actually going to go for the few days to truck stops, you know, trucking companies, and just try to gain as much information as we can because a lot of you love the segment when we actually pop into locations and just see what the heck they're about. We went to a couple locations already and they did not want to be interviewed. <laughs> we went to the one here and they're like, uh, we need to ask our manager. And so I guess they're going to let us interview and get a little walk around. So let's check this out and let's see what they're about. Let's get it. What's let's, let's, let's get it. Let's just jump right into it. So a couple of companies he mentioned that he went, they didn't want to be on camera. They didn't want no, no action, no nothing. But he just happened to pop up at controversial company, trucking company, Super Eagle, out of Illinois. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. I'm, I'm going to have to call a cap. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to call a cap, man. I, I, I don't think... <laughs> I, I don't think that you just pop up at this company. This controversial company. Just on a whim, my guy. Just on a whim. Now, I know you came back in another video and you said that a lot of companies offered you some money to come and, you know, promote their company and everything. What's going on, mother truckers? I just want to have a honest conversation with you guys. Um, sometimes... I travel to trucking companies and I travel to just different shows and I interview and tour uh, trucking companies and facilities and truck drivers always wonder, you know, how much I get paid for that or uh, what is that exactly. And I just want to start this conversation by honestly telling you guys that um, companies have offered me up to twenty to thirty thousand dollars to go to their company and interview uh, their company and make it look good and great. See, right there, bruh, right there. Now I agree with you because I get emails all the time, all the time about you know what they you know what companies want me to do as far as promoting them. Now, see, when you get paid by a company to promote them, they pretty much kind of control the content, kind of control the flow of, 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 which, of what they want to get out there versus what you want to put out there. I'm unbiased to anything. It's a lot of companies that I have turned down simply because you guys take what I bring value. In this case, bro, I don't know, man. I don't know. I know you said in this video right here that you would not take 30, 20 to 30,000 K. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Uh, you want to film us? Yeah. How about what? And honestly, we just talked to two random drivers just started. Then we're going to get back at them. We're going to be like, do they actually make some money or not? You know? Mm -hmm. So just to let you guys know, let's walk over here real quick. Um, this is not a recruiting video. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. 
me and Miguel are actually going to the Chicago Bulls game hanging out. And so, yeah, I mean. Of course, this isn't a recruiting video, bruh. It's not. It's a promotional video. Be honest, my guy. It's a promotional video. You're promoting this company. Now, I'm not saying that money had been exchanged, but some type of funds was exchanged for you to come all the way up from Florida, bro. I'm, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the basketball game angle. I'm not feeling the fact that you just so happy to pop up at this company. I'm not feeling it, my guy. I'm sorry, I just can't. There's there, This company, now I'm going to be honest, this company has reached out to me. And they was like, lockout, yo, we like what you do on the channel. We would like to, uh, we, we would like to collaborate with you. We would like to sponsor the channel. And I, I almost fell for it. But for the amount that was negotiated, I said, no, I can't do it. At least not for that amount anyway. I said, if I was going to put my company, my channel, on the line for a lot of scrutiny that will come my way, you're going to have to pay me well. You're going to have to pay me to do it. Negotiations kind of fell off from there. Sure that they are walking out from here with the knowledge. So they're not going to let the driver without him knowing the things about the company, about our history, and of course about the DOT regulations and about company policies and all of that. So very next. Why do that? Why why do that place look like the Wolf of the, what, what is it? The Wolf of Wall Street, the big ass, the the big ass open space office. Why do that look like that? <laughs> called telephones. I'm going to let you on a little secret about these telephones. They're not going to dial themselves, okay? <laughs> Why do that look like that? Now, I have talked to drivers before that told that tells me that, yeah, they opened up the red carpet for these guys. They got all these offices, all these places. Everybody is there with open arms and helping hands. And this is what they go through. They, 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 they open it up. And and present a a farce for the truck drivers. At least that's what I was told. Okay, so all right, let's get close to the camera here, you know, because one thing I gotta say is a lot of these bigger companies, you know, they're usually big time maker carriers and stuff like that. Uh, they always start out with big money, uh, billion dollar equity firms. I mean. Is that what this is? Is this a, a no. company that doesn't care about truck drivers? Good question right there, Asian. Good question right there, my guy. But see, the way you the way you 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 asked it, you should have asked it this way. Well, you know, a lot of drivers, uh current and past drivers, claims that Super Eagle uh doesn't take care of their drivers like they're claiming is there any truth to that well we really care and we consider our truck drivers as our part of our family crazy serbian family <laughs> and here nothing started with the big money everything started from dominos the owner of the company was truck uh, he was the driver for a dominos wait up wait up when you say dominos dominos like yes dominos pizza Pizza. Yes. yes, I know it sounds insane. Domino's yeah. Pizza, yes. Yeah. Domino's Pizza. Yep, he started as a Domino's Pizza delivery guy. He was working like 90, 100 uh, hours per the week. Then he switched to doing the... Domino's, the pizza. I mean, do you guys think, do, do you guys honestly believe that story? That this guy started from a delivery driver with Domino's Pizza. I mean, it could be possible, you know, it could be possible. She said he was a delivery driver for Domino's Pizza. Can we, can we correlate that as a truck 
driver delivery guy because Domino's Pizza do have delivery trucks, though. Right? Or is this just a car delivery driver? Let's hear the story. Laundry or something like that. <laughs> and then somehow he got his CDL and he started driving. He was a driver for a couple of the years. And he was collecting his and saving his money. He purchased first truck, like very Wait first up. truck. One truck. One truck. Now, you see, Alex, man, you, I mean, you just so... I don't know. You're just so nice, bruh. You're just so nice. See, drivers don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear the story of Domino's Pizza. No, bro. Me, I would have started off right off the rip. I would have been like, look, drivers out here are complaining about the company skimming off the top. Can you comment can you comment on some of these drivers' concern about skimming off the top? Can you comment about that, please? Let's continue. And that's crazy. That's how all the magic started. Oh, guys, I mean, Donald's Pizza, we're talking about a minimum wage job. All right, let, next. To the repair shop. And this part here, particularly, will be actually for, um, for a tr uh, truckers, actually. There they're going to uh, be having the showers, uh, washing in a dryer. So when they... God damn it, man. How long that's going to take? That empty area look like it's going to take about what? About a year? <laughs> Two years to get a, to, to, to get a driver uh, to, you know, to get a driver lounge, showers. It don't even look like no, no plumbing is in that area. What you talking about? This right here kind of remind me of when that dude from the boiler room went into that one that one building and he saw nothing but phones on the floor. That's what this reminds me of. Come here to, for example, uh, give us their like paperwork or something like yeah. that. They can actually take a rest for a couple of the hours here, do their laundry, watch a TV, you know, like just all regular things because Okay, you know what, drivers? We don't want to know about that. We don't want to know when you're going to put this uh, little driver's lounge together. We want to know about the ELDs, right? Right? Is it is it true that you guys, uh, you know, kind of augment the ELDs for the drivers out here? Is that true? Can you comment about that? Can you comment about that? We did, the, uh, me and my guy, we just went to like two or three trucking companies because we go to the Chicago Bulls game and no one would let us film. This is the first company that let us film today. <laughs> because we just want the truth, bro. Alex, I, I, I hear you, bro. I, I honestly hear you and I, 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 see the, I see the angle that you're going with this, you know, that you're going to a quote unquote Chicago Bulls game. And y'all went to a couple of companies and all like that. And this company just so happened to let you come in and interview and talk to their drivers. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Don't sound right with that, bruh. And I know, again, I know what you said. A million dollars, let's say gross. So that $20,000 to pay me to go there would start making sense. Now, here's the thing about all things. There is no such thing as free money in this world. No one pays you any type of money to just go over there where they're not going to 100% benefit from this. So if I were to take 20 to 25, 30, 40, $50,000 from these companies, they would want a few things. And the things they have asked me is they would want some censorship. You know what? I, <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm going to say this because I, a lot of us don't do things for free. We really don't. Especially when it comes to promotions and using channels to get there, to get the word out. You know, Drivers use their channels to 
promote companies to get the referral bonus, guy. You know, 15, uh, 1,500, 2,000 at the most. Hell, there's a female driver over at Variant that's doing it all day, every day. And she claims, well, she showed that she made six figures in the last year in doing it. So you're right, my guy. There's companies that always reaching out to me. They reaching out to you. They they reaching out to you because of your platform. You got a you got a bigger reach. It's, you know, with me, I don't. I my my platform is small compared to yours. But me and you both got the same amount of viewership, though. And that's what I that and that's what I you know pride myself on the viewership. Shout out to my subscribers, but my viewership is 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 in the echelon, and they know that. That's why they reaching out to you. That's why they reaching out to me. You don't think, you don't think they're going to, of course, they're going to offer some money. You don't think I'm not going to take it? I already know the controversial company, Super Ego. We, we had background emails back and forth. I know about MGR. We had background emails back and forth. I know about other Chicagoland companies. We had background emails back and forth, bruh. And you're exactly right. There's nothing about free money. But I will tell you this much, bro. If a company that you claim that you turned down 20 grand, 30 grand, I'm calling super cap on you, bro, because ain't no way that I will turn that down. Stop the cap. <laughs> Ain't no way that I would turn that down. No, none, period. Ain't no way that I would turn that down, my guy. 30K? Yeah, I'll, hey, I'll come on and promote your company for 30K. And I know how the company is. But you're right, though. There is a little bit of censorship that they want. They want to control the footage. But see, I would have negotiated that. There's no control over the over over the censorship. If somebody comes over and says they don't like the company because of what the company done to them, I'm going to let it go. That's their experience. And my guy, yo, comment session. Woo! So, brother, man, let's just jump in some of your comments, man. I mean, a lot, you, you got about what, six, about 600 plus comments from drivers. This first driver says, oh no, he's super pimping. <laughs> this commenter says, the girl is a CEO? <laughs> I think what they did, like how they would normally do, they would send out a beautiful young lady, you know, for the camera, you know, some, you know, something, you know, fresh for the camera. To, to, you know, represent the company. This driver says, I just left this company. I gave them the benefit of the doubt after all the positives and negatives reviews I came across. I know in our industry that you can't make everyone happy, but boy, was I wrong and took the L. Not a place to work for. I went for a new, tr I went for a new truck did the whole 5,000K down. And after three months, it all went down the drain. Most of the guys sharing their bad experience are right. You guys could go back to the channel and read all of this, man. I mean, these guys coming at, these guys is, is like doing paragraphs of how bad this company is. I mean, just look at it, man. I mean, from the good reviews and the bad reviews, I understand you guys want to go in like this, like the driver said. He want to give it the benefit of the doubt. That's the same thing what happened to uh to to uh to uh keeping it 100. She went in to give them the benefit of the doubt, and look what happened. Now I understand some of the drivers that I had talked to because I was tagged in this same thread. And they was like lockout men. Yo, look at this over here, man. And I was just telling them, I was like, look, man, uh, the drivers that reaches that reach out to me to, you know, to let me know their experience with the company, whether they had 
two months, three months, or a year. It's their experience with the company. I have asked, like, if there's anybody winning with this company. Is there anybody winning with this company? I asked that. And, you know, the ones that are winning with this company are the ones that's not saying nothing at all. Let's be honest. If you're winning with that company, would you want to come on and, and mess up your bag with them? I don't think so. And I respect them. Them the ones that stay silent, low key. They don't want to mess up. A, they don't want to mess up a good thing with them. Because if they doing wrong by the drivers that are complaining about it, guess what they're going to do to their good drivers when they start opening their mouths about it? Think about that. Think about that, man. This is, I mean, just go over to the channel, bro. He has over 600 comments, and every last one of them is telling him, bro, this is a bad idea, bro. This is a bad company. And I understand Alice might wants to be the, you know, wants to be the good guy and be like, look, let me, you know, just let me know your experience and yada, 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 yada. And I, I'm not going to go over there and, 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 and promote them and, and not get paid for it. I wouldn't go to no Chicagoland company that has as much negativity that that company has. I'm not going to go there. For free. I'm not going to just do a pop up. I'm not going to do that. And a lot of and a lot of these guys feel the way that I feel that you that that you cap in my guy. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. We going. So we're going to go now to our trailer yard just to show you how many trailers we have there and to show you two shades of blue. We are very, very proud of our logo and it's a huge logo on the trailers and we just wanted you to see that. Okay. No. Okay, you don't have to show us. We see it every day. We see it all the time. We see it everywhere. Big super ego logo. Ego. <laughs> but what I want to know is, I don't want to know about the trailers. I want to know how you guys treat your drivers. What, what is your concerns about drivers that's out here saying the negative things that they're saying about you? How do, what, what's your comments on that? So, guys, this is just my reaction, man. Did Asian might get paid? What do you guys think? What's your thoughts on it? Did he get paid? Did the controversial company Super Ego reached out to Asian Mai and offered him a little bit of money to come to their company to spotlight it on his channel? Do you think there was money that, that exchanged hands between the two? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Big G's got it locked, boy. Won't you love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Yeah, swim around Want you to take it like a G And I'll make a sound And I want you to miss me when I'm